It's the D.O.J. What's going on, y'all? Hey, listen, man. This episode right here of the D.O. Show has got to be the sweetest one thus far, man. And look, man, if you already haven't figured it out, this is why, y'all. This is why on the other end, y'all, I got my boy, my one and only boy, y'all. Listen, man, we talking about the best. I'm talking about, look, if we talking numbers, numbers, numbers really don't lie. We talking about the absolute best point guard in the state of Maryland class 2021, y'all. If we talking numbers, that's all I'm saying. Look. We talking about a 4.0 student. We talking about the whole way through, yo. We ain't talking about in and out. We talking about consistently all the way through, okay? And listen, last but not least, man, officially now, and we're going to have this announcement here on the show. I'm expecting this one, and I'm sure all of y'all is as well, man, officially a collegiate level student athlete, man. Y'all better give a steaming hot welcome to my boy, my son, Dylan Oakshell. What's going on? Y'all gonna hear me say Papa, you know, but I ain't gonna say it too much. You probably want, you know, the family nickname out there too much. But what's going on, Style? How you feeling, big dog? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling excited. Yeah, man, we can see it in your eyes, boy. We can see it. You're glowing, boy. Now, look, Pop, man, this March Madness, you know, I got my favorite player in the whole world. I'm about to interview right here, y'all, because I'm through the roof right now. I'm talking in front of Kawhi Leonard and Mike Jordan, my favorite player, y'all. And look, if you try to figure out why, for one, he can do the thing. And if you've seen him play, you're in the state of Maryland. I ain't got to explain to you. But look, not only can he do the thing, hey, listen, I just say I got a lot to do with him doing the thing. I'm going to just say that. That's my favorite player of all time. Hey, listen, Pop, with those accolades, Pop, you know, we going, we talking about the 4.0 GPA sustaining throughout your four years of high school, man. You know, we talking about all type of obstacles, man, that you and I know about. World only has no idea. Your friends, no idea. We talking about the numbers. We talking. Mm-hmm. About, we come on, man. The numbers unbelievable. What you did in one year, okay? We got to go back. We got to tell the story. How did this all go down, man? Let's take them back right here, y'all. Where you from? For those that have no clue where you from, let's take them back to how we got here. Well, I'm from Tacoma Park, Maryland. Uh, born there, raised in Highsville, Maryland. My, my dad, single dad. When you say single dad for nine years, you know, what would you say was – you know, because we never really hear from the kids. You always hear from the parents. You know, like my ebook and title, I did that was going crazy out here in the world. And everybody read, read the story, know a little bit about the story. Listen, this is the boy in the story. This is the true boy right here. So from your perspective, like, how was that for you? Um, well, it was definitely a long, rocky road. A lot of ups and downs, mm-hmm. long nights, early mornings, <laughs> a lot of hard work and dedication. For sure, for sure. And what what would you say was um what well, was was the highlight, you know, of those years? What was what was like some of the things that really stuck out that uh, that stuck with you and had a positive, you know, push on you? Throughout those years, uh, definitely family, family number one thing. Always motivated me to keep going. 
Um, also winning uh, valedictorian, eighth grade year in middle school. And now up to this point, been to a college. For sure. And what, and what would you say been the most, was the most challenging time out of all of those, like you said, it was a rocky road. What would you say was the most challenging period during, during that, uh, that single parent um, period you went through? Um, I would say the challenging, most challenging part was uh, just some nights, you know, thinking about my mom or where she might be and uh, how things would be if she was here and stuff like that. Wow, wow. And and now that's really deep. That That's something that, you know, is one of those things I knew that you would be thinking about, right? And, you know, I would do all the things I would do all the right things, in my opinion, to distract you, like put all the right distractions in, in your face. But I knew that still at the end of the day wouldn't erase the thoughts that you had because it's natural. You know, you was inside of this woman, you know, she carried you. You naturally going to wonder, you know, what's going on? What, what happened? How would it be? You know, you going to daydream or dream at night. There's nothing nobody can do about that. You know, but um, and and I also know this. I also knew there were times where uh, it hurt you early on. You know, because you were maybe it was more the confusion. You know, do you want to speak to that? You on teams, right? You on certain teams. All out of ten kids, probably nine of them got their mom there. Their dad might not be there, but they, their mom was there. Oh yeah, 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 you know. So I would look at you sometimes, you know, or it would just, you know, I would catch it, like the way you would look when they're running to their mom, or you, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. What was on your mind when you was when you was like at that point in your life when you were kind of still like see other kids and it wasn't you wasn't yet as comfortable as you are as a young man today to where you could just like oh okay yeah whatever they with their mom. You get what I'm saying? Explain what was going through your mind during that time. Okay, so, uh, no. Young AAU days are getting picked up from school and seeing kids running their moms and things like that. Uh, it used to get under my skin because, you know, it'd be cool for that to happen to me and all of that. But uh, as I grew older, I kind of got out of it. So, Style, what was... Uh, some of the things that really helped you to stay focused and actually grow from the challenges? Uh, definitely, i say, like what you said earlier, keeping me distracted uh, with sports, keeping you focused on school, and overall helping me become a better young man for the future. Also, I would say family, the support, especially my grandma, you know, she played a huge role. For sure, for sure. And and some of those distractions, because sometimes, like, I got my single parent group, you know, I try to educate them as much as possible about, you know, how to distract their kids and things. What were some of the things, like, some of those distractions, like those positive distractions for those listening, watching, you know, what were some of those uh, positive distractions that, uh, you were given, you know, by me, and uh, you felt like really, really helped. Definitely uh, basketball. Um, you also <laughs> had me try for football. I lasted one day with that. <laughs> um, also, I tried baseball as well. Yeah. That didn't work out for too long. But, you know, definitely sports. Um, Stand focused in school. That was definitely number one thing. I'm always staying educated. Mm -hmm. um, but you also, you know, talk balance. It's not always work, work, work. Allow me to have fun and hang out with my friends and things like that. For sure, for sure. I would, and one of the things that stick out to me was when you had like that rigorous schedule. When you was at WJA and 
you guys was actually doing like a seven to seven type schedule, right? <laughs> like a 12 hour day schedule. And then we would have you be there and you were a part of this court program, like team court program, where you was a part of a team jury and all that type stuff. Explain a little bit of that because I really think, I think that had a whole lot to do with your growth at that time. I thought you really got to see, you know, like you were kind of like, uh, you were protected somewhat, or, well, hell, a hell of a lot. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. You were protected, but you got to really see the other side of your peers whom probably weren't protected and you actually had to have input with their in incarcerations and probation, all that type of stuff. Kind of briefly tell tell the people about that because a lot of people don't know about that program. But definitely bringing back memories because I haven't thought about that one in a while. But yeah, that, that was a tough program. Uh, you know, walking in a courtroom, I got my school bag, got my basketball bag. Looking for you know rooms where they um uh, where they're don doing court cases for the uh, youth. So walking in a courtroom, it, it was crazy because like I've never been in a courtroom. I only see them on like TV and on the news and things like that. So it was definitely um, a surprising scene. Um, and then you just see all the kids walk in. Um, everyone sits sits in the seats. And it, it's just quiet until, you know, the judge comes and, and he starts talking. Uh, you stand up when he comes in. They bring in, you know, the kids. Um, and just hearing some of the story, it was just crazy. Because, you know, they're kids around my age, maybe a little bit older. Yeah. But, you know, just some of the things that they were doing. You know, I didn't want to be in that situation. Uh, you know, hearing some of them, like, you know, uh, Lead and stuff like that, uh, begging kind of, yeah. but yeah, it was just a lot of crazy stories that I heard, and even coming from them, them seven to seven long school hours, it was uh usually you know I'll be tired, but when you walk in the courtroom, you know you just snap and you like wake up. It's like reality hits. Uh, yeah, lights on. And, and, and I'm going to tell y'all parents uh, listening, that's exactly what my mindset was, was that I know he's, I know he's tired. I know he's going to want to go to sleep, you know, but what y'all parents got to understand is it's not, you can't pamper them. It's not about that all the time. There are moments where they're going to need that. But at that point, I want to say you seventh grade, maybe eighth grade, somewhere like that. Seven grade. That was that was one of them periods where he's making that transition. We're trying to prepare him for high school, for independence, for thinking faster, for seeing life outside of his own life, start to understand how other, others are living so he can appreciate his life better. What would you say was the craziest like story you heard while you was in it? The craziest case? Did they like had you leaving that day like, oh man, life is great. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, I don't remember the school exactly, but I remember the school wasn't too far from WJ. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, I believe, a Hispanic boy. And I think he had like stabbed one of his classmates or something like that. It was something crazy like that. Yeah. So. That one was definitely, you know, sitting on my head for a minute. Uh, I was just thinking about it. Dang, that's, that's crazy. Like, wow. he this, he this age and he could do something like that. So, so, so did the kid get, like, did he get time or what, what was, how did that end for him? Um, I think he got community service. Um, he might have got some time, but. I'm not totally sure. I don't remember that well. Okay. Now, moving forward, man, moving forward, let's talk about the high school days, man. Let's talk about the high school days real quick. Now, look, you were recruited 
heavily by uh, say this and Pilates, go there. We we know, you know, I'm, if you from early, you know the mess that turned out to be. Now, you end up at La Plata High School. I'm going to say that again. You end up at La Plata High School for your junior season. La Plata. Mm-hmm. Now, what's going through your mind as soon as you, like when, when the moment hits that you're going to La Plata and you know you're going to La Plata. Listen, y'all. For all y'all don't know Merlin basketball, Merlin high schools, whatever, La Plata is only known for baseball. Okay. Now, now take take us to your mindset going to La Plata High School, because there was a lot of them you could have went to, but we end up at La Plata. What was the mindset? Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like mind blown. I was like, yeah, because I had never heard of it before. You know, it's like what everybody would say, like in the middle of nowhere, kind of. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm walking to. I don't know the coaches. I don't know the school. I don't know the area that well. I'm just hoping for the best walking in there. Mm-hmm. And, and and look, now that, that junior season right there, because when I tell y'all the best point guard in the class of 2021, that – 2019-2020 uh, season, that did it, okay? And, and look, I ain't got time to explain. You go to Google yourself. But I'm just going to tell you like this. That season, first team, all-conference, SMBCA, okay? That's the Southern Maryland Conference, okay? Basketball Association. We talking about number two junior that season, point guard leading the state in scoring. This is match prep, y'all. Number one junior, point guard leading state in assists, okay? So he ain't only killing them. He's sharing with them, okay? He feeding them, y'all. Number one junior, y'all. We still on match prep. Number one junior leading state in steals. This is match prep, man. All of that, man, junior season. La Plata, and I'm going to say this right here, because a lot of people probably act like they don't know or don't want to talk about it, or they want to act like they want to sneeze at it. But come on, y'all. Capital Hoops. Well, I got I got, I got to sit straight for this one. Capital Hoops. Capital Hoops. You know, they, they be out there at Damantha High School in the Summer League and all of that. You know Capital Hoops who only go to the games, only go see the players, you know, whoever those guys are supposed to be. You done messed around and had Capital Hoops come out to La Plata High School. God damn. God, how the hell do you get – Lord have mercy. How the hell do you get Capital Hoops to come out to La Plata High School? Man, that's damn history right there. How did you do that? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It, it was just crazy. It was a crazy year. That's what I was saying. <laughs> Man, look, that was a phenomenal year for you. And um, the team didn't do well. The team didn't do well. I mean, you absolutely did what you can possibly do with the team. You know, um, but moving forward from La Plata, you were actually supposed to go to Thomas Stone for that final year, where you guys actually had a roster that can possibly make a state run, right? Yeah, I definitely, uh, <laughs> I definitely think if we had a season, we would have won a state championship. No hey. doubt. I agree. Y'all had a legit shot to do that. And who who were uh, some of those guys on that roster uh, with you that would have been with you at Thomas Stone? Uh, Jarrell McCready, um, Corey Wilkes, yeah, uh, Tevin. Uh, yeah, we, we were pretty we were pretty deep squad. So yeah, we definitely would have made a lot of noise in the state. 
Yeah, I, re I really think y'all had a shot to do something special. I mean, two of you guys were uh, were all conference, first team all conference players already. So y'all y'all definitely had it. Uh, and, and coach was a great coach already. So um, man, and COVID hits. That's the entire season away, man. We talking about the whole season, man. What's going through your mind when that when that goes on, man? What, what, what is really – because I couldn't imagine. Like, if I was a player, I don't even know how to channel that, man. How, how would you take that? Uh, at first, it, it, you know, it didn't really hit me. Uh, yeah, it didn't really hit me because our season was already over at the time. So, um, the only time it hit me was when we were getting ready for senior year, you know, summer workouts and things like that were close to the beginning and they were all getting canceled one by one. So hmm. it started getting tough then. Um having a workout on my own, weight room, running, uh ball handling work, trying to find somewhere to get shots up, things like that. It, it was just it was tough. Wow, wow. And and, and so the season ends, right? You get you, the season's officially done with. You got to deal with that, right? Now, what's 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 going through your mind with the recruitment process at that time? Uh, you know, I, I was talking to uh, D1 school, UPenn. Um, they recruited me. Uh, COVID hit. They were asking for film, things like that, uh, tournaments and things like that were getting shut down. So uh, it was hard to get a lot of new film. I had a lot of film that was for the season, but new film like for the summer, that was hard to get with everything shut down. So um, recruitment was kind of slow. Um, their recruitment towards me went down a little bit, you know, and yeah, that that's pretty much it was tough recruitment uh, period. Yeah. Yeah, that it definitely did a number on the recruitment period. Um, you know, just the showcasing period, you know, everything was limited for everyone, you know. So you have an announcement to make today on yeah. the old show. Man, look. Let us know with the recruitment period, COVID, the challenges through high school, all of this stuff. It led to this one decision, y'all. Let us know where you're going, man. Where are you going? Where is Style and Oaks going to school for the 2021-2022? Where are we going to see them playing at? You guys will see me playing in state greater Allegheny. Yeehaw! In state greater Allegheny. Hey, look, man. Wow, 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 man. Look, Penn State Greater Allegheny. Let me tell y'all something real quick. Y'all got the one. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Y'all got the one. Yes! Okay? Now look. Penn State Great Al congratulations. That's that's number one. Penn State Great Allegheny. Why? Uh, I chose Penn State Great Allegheny because you know I built a relationship with Coach Friedman, the head coach there. Uh, we've been talking. You know, I played. Um, I actually played AAU for his program when I was a um, freshman sophomore. So. Kind of have a history with them, uh, built a relationship with them. And uh, Penn State is a great campus. It's a great school. Um, I know they're going to push me both on the court and off the court. So I'm giving thanks to Coach Freeman uh, for supporting me and everything. And I'm ready to get there and get to work. Indeed, indeed. And, and uh, how do you feel about, you know, leaving home for school? Uh, I think already. <laughs> I think already. Uh, you hear that, man? He ready to get away. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna miss you guys. 
uh, my sisters, you know, uh, stepmom, you. Um, definitely spent a lot of time with you guys, and I'm gonna miss you guys. So, I'm, I'm ready for the next step. You'll miss us for about 15 minutes, and then you know he gonna be oh, piss day. Let's get, let's go, hey, oh, you know. <laughs> The whole little party like, uh, hey, look, man, we proud of you. You know, Penn State, Great Allegheny, once again, man, y'all got one. Hey, listen, if you never paid attention to Penn State, Great Allegheny, I'm going to tell you something. You better pay attention from now on for these next four years and whatever amount of time Stalin's about to be balling out there because he puts on a show, y'all. We talking about a show Stop it right here, man. Look, you don't believe it, man. Just do your homework, man. We ain't really got time for all that. Hey, listen. So, look, Pop, we right here. It's Final Four, man. You know, you got – who we got? We got Gonzaga. Who we got going on right now? Gonzaga, Baylor. We got Houston and UCLA, right? Yep. Come on, man. You, you are now officially – a collegiate basketball player. You know the game. You've been watching what's going on in this in this uh big dance. Who gonna take it all and why? Uh I'm gonna have to go with Gonzaga. Gotta go with the Zags. Yeah, too much. Why you going with the Zags, man? I'm I am i am predicting Baylor, by the way, y'all. And the Zags are tough. But come on, why, why, why the Zags? They just got too much. They loaded. Uh, Jalen Slugs. <laughs> you know, he, he really the point stick together. The point huh? stick together, yo. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, uh, they got Emmy. He's, he's killing. Uh, yeah, they, they're loaded. They're, they're bench players coming in off the bench producing. Starters doing their thing. Yeah. I don't think nobody can stop them. Man, I don't know, man. I think, I think. I think Bella, man, I think Bella's been uh, the most consistent. I think that – I'm not going to say most consistent. I take that back. I take that back. Gonzaga has been the most consistent. But I think Bella is the most complete team. They can play many different speeds. I really think Bella will get Gonzaga in a, in a nail biter, though. I think they're going to get him, man. What I say is – We've seen Baylor lose. We've seen them have droughts and things like that. So yeah, we know they can be beaten. We haven't seen a team that has even, you know, challenged them, challenged Gonzaga to where they're going to lose. They haven't played Baylor. That's all I'm going to say about that. They haven't played, they haven't played Baylor. I'm, I'm going to just say this. What you going to say? Baylor got to get to the championship first. Oh, no. Nah. See that? That's disrespectful, man. Look, y'all see what I deal with right here, man, when we talking this basketball. Now, look, Pop, you know, you you got a vision beyond, you know, uh, the game of basketball, as we always speak on, you know, basketball, father time is going to hit. You know, your, your body's not going to allow you to play basketball forever. What's the plan, you know, host basketball? Uh, definitely to start my own business, uh, you know, continue on with the, with the clothing brand, family brand. I'll finish uh, cityofoaksshops.com. Make sure I get y'all merch from there. Um, also, I want to start my own training business, uh, training athletes, not just basketball, but, you know, football players, soccer players. It's helping future athletes get their body right, uh, ready for their the next step in their journey. Yeah, Pop. Man, look. So, any last words, you know, for the youngsters? You know, you got the young boy he coming up. You know, he probably like, you know, middle school or so. He dealing with them different challenges. You know, the, the hormones coming. You know, um, you know he's, he's having this ups and downs as the game sometimes go. You know, he don't know what he's what, what's what's next. He don't know what he's about to face. You know, he's trying to do his thing in high school. He wanna have one of them seasons be an all-conference player like you, wanna make it to the collegiate level. 
what do you say to that kid? Uh, I would say definitely have a why and run with it. Uh, if you have a why for everything that you do, whether it's family or money to get to the next level, you know, I would say definitely keep that on your, on your mind and make that the reason that, you know, you go hard every day. Uh, you know, stay focused, books, if you want to play a sport, uh, you know, be an astronaut, lawyer, whatever you want to be, just take time and, and focus on it because time is the most important thing. So I would just say keep your head on straight because the other things, you know, the, uh, the girls, the money, all that is going to come in the future. Stay focused and get to where you want to get Indeed, indeed. Hey, listen, y'all, you heard it from, you know, in my opinion, my boy, the strongest man I know. You know, he survived every obstacle I ever put in front of him and some more. That's y'all, we talk about the strongest man I absolutely know, man. And look, y'all going to get to know him very soon if you don't. Now, check it out, man. Where can the people... Follow styling. Where can they? Where can they see what's going on? You know, because now they gonna. Hey, if they didn't know, they gonna be on. They gonna be on the games. They look when Penn State great Allegheny playing. You look. Don't be surprised, y'all. Just like he brought them cameras to La Plata. Don't be shocked when them cameras come out. Penn State great Allegheny. Now look. Where can the people find you? Uh, Instagram and on Twitter at Stalin underscore Oaks. Stalin underscore Oaks. Instagram and Twitter. One more time. Stalin underscore Oak. Instagram and Twitter. Stalin underscore Oaks on Instagram and Twitter, correct? Yep. Y'all got it right there, man. Hey, listen here, y'all. You know exactly where to find me, man. Yours truly, that's at Life Coach D.O., man. And that's on Instagram, y'all. That's life with the Y, not the I, man. Hey, look, also, man, this one, as y'all can see, man, I Finish makes things possible right here. And if you want your I Finish gear, I'm telling you right now, you got to get over to cityofoaks.com y'all that's c-i-t-i-o-f-o-a-k-s dot com man hey look y'all just a bittersweet moment man because i hate to get on up out of here but i'm gonna tell y'all like this man styling notes penn state great allegheny look life coach d oaks we want y'all to be safe. We want y'all to be happy. Love yours. And I'm going to see y'all in a little bit.